understand? Like, no. And I'm going to speak that. I can't help that the internet culture don't know what the fuck going on. Yeah, he's a fucking... He, what the fuck are you talking about, man? You're a fucking hater. He fucking swung on that dude, bro. What the fuck do you mean, bro? He got a body. He got a body. Where you from? This nigga that didn't murder niggas in prison right now getting fucked in the ass every night. Kool-Aid on his lips. Got another nigga arm around him every night. The fuck is you talking? But I, like I said, I, I, the fuck? Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? to the rap trap i am al conseco fearless leader of ao nation and the men two movement and this is in hindsight all right first off first off do not ask me how to sign the men two petition go in the description box there is a description box right under this video there's a little bitty arrow right here should be on the, the left hand side or depending on how you it's going to be on your right hand side. Right up under the title. Like, so if you're reading the title, left to right, so it's on the right side. Little arrow. Tap that arrow, and then the description box will fall down. The first link is the men to change.org petition. I am so fucking busy. I, I got rappers I have to promote and, 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 and deal with their careers and emails I gotta send out to different fucking uh, labels and producers and, and fucking uh, songwriters and uh, graphic designers, uh, videographers. Um, then you come, I got three fucking dogs. The, the news people want to interview me and shit like that for stories I do and shit, man. Motherfuckers want to syndicate the show but not give me no money. YouTube playing around with the notifications. Stories coming six a damn day. Dog, I'm busy as fuck. Not even to mention my personal life. You want me to talk about the personal life? Children and, and they mamas and all this other shit you got going on. Dog, please, don't, don't get me started. Uh, stalkers in my inbox. Hoes talking about they know where I stay in Daphne. Come on, man. I got a lot of shit going. If you respect me, man, you fuck with my video, dog. Don't come my inbox, man, with no goddamn shit that I speak on the show. If you say you like the video, have the decency to watch the goddamn video and know what the fuck I be talking about, dog. Come on, dog. Let's be for real. I'm not trying to be Hollywood and have to get a secretary to where uh, now when you come in the inbox and want to say some good shit to me, you got to go through another motherfucker. You can't even get in contact with me. Come on, man. We ain't got to kill that shit like that, dog. Handle your fucking business. Listen to the fucking videos and hit me up whenever, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I love the videos. They all good. I holler back at everybody in the inbox. Do not make it to where, you know what I'm saying, I got to get somebody so what you know what I'm saying, you get a generic-ass response. They didn't send you anything. Come on, dog. Y'all swear to God, niggas go Hollywood, but I see why niggas do that shit now. This shit come from all fucking angles. I keep telling y'all I do this shit myself. Come on, that crazy shit, dog. Hey man, I signed the Men Two movement. Are you fucking serious? Dog, learn how to work fucking YouTube. Learn how to work YouTube. I don't care if you watch it on the TV. Learn it. All right, so I'm watching it on the TV. I, there's no description box. Let me do this shit on my phone then. That shouldn't be no, that's not no, no hellified genius shit. That's common sense. All right, so it, it ain't no description box because I'm on this right here. Let me goddamn, I don't want to bother this man. I know this man busy as fuck. I respond back to every fucking body, man. Ain't nobody that came in my inbox, any of my inboxes, that has not got a response directly from me. Ain't no Hollywood shit going on around me. Come on, man. Come on. I'm 
trying to keep from snapping on somebody that really fucks with me. So let's pay attention and be considerate of a nigga that's trying to do something good. All right. So like I was saying, whenever you see the best and shit like that, usually on a big fast podcast, but I need I need to have this on because I'm not sure that folks is going, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have some people not liking the, the direction I'm going to take on this shit right here. So with the 21 Savage shit, 21 Savage got deported because he really from Great Britain or the UK or some shit like that. He not from East Atlanta streets. He not, you know what I'm saying, he ain't really, he wasn't born there. He wasn't born in Grady. He didn't, know what I'm saying, go to school at the elementary school they went to and no shit like that. He got there when he was a teenager and shit like that. Um, his, his daddy is a celebrity fucking doctor. A celebrity doc, not a nurse, a celebrity doctor. So that, that kind of cuts the whole we ain't have shit theory by the, by the legs. Kill that whole thing. You're not from Atlanta. You might have banged, you, like, listen to me now. You might have banged there. You did your thing there. But you wasn't born there. That, that Like, you're not from there. And it's not even, not, not even, like, I was born in California. But I got here when I was like, you know what I'm saying? Six years old. No, I, I went back when I was 10. I, I got here when I was two years old. I've been in Alabama since I was two years old. You know what I'm saying? It really don't matter where you from if you was raised where you at. You know what I'm saying? Like so, if a nigga was born in Germany and he was and he was raised as from a child in Atlanta or Chicago, then he can claim that. But you can't. You know what I'm saying? You can't. If you ain't get there to when you was, you know what I'm saying, 15 years old, that's the same thing with. Never mind. But by 16, you a grown man. You know what I'm saying? You you pretty much got all your whatever like that. So Atlanta shit out the window, having a struggle, that shit out the window. But what does that say? Casting over two times, and a lot of niggas, a lot of real street niggas, didn't have to go out here and trap. And a lot of niggas who did have to go out there and trap, what what are we saying? What are we saying? So a nigga that had to get in front of mud because his mama was on crack. He most sturdy, shout out to King Erna. He's most sturdy than a nigga who didn't have to. Because now it goes back to what is the what are the requirements and what is the filtering system to see who's sturdy and who's, you know what I'm saying? Fake. Who's a fuck nigga? I don't want to say rap because it's a lot more shit you can do in the street that can fuck you over than just snitching on somebody. A nigga who, a nigga who never had shit, whatever like that, and was, was broke from the beginning. You saying that he guaranteed to be a savage to where a nigga can't just slap the fuck out of him and he don't do nothing? And is you saying that a nigga who didn't have to trap? Is a nigga that you can just walk up to and take something from and ain't got to worry about no repercussion. Can you profile and stereotype these people? Can you determine whether or not you should try this nigga by his parents? That's what we talking about. His parents. And, and even further, where he's from. Does where a nigga from and his parents and what age he... Let's just say where he from. Does where a nigga from and his parents determine how, you know what I'm saying, how far you can push him? Or is it a case-by-case -case basis? Because I said this a long time ago. It's some college niggas who will stand up in the interrogation room way taller than a nigga who been in the street the whole his whole life. Ain't never had nothing but the street. But as soon as he get in that motherfucking interrogation room, he eating a whole feast. And walking out that bitch full with no handcuffs. 
College nigga go in that bitch and, you know what I'm saying, don't know nothing and stick to the cold. Do his three years and come home. But the streets will still treat him like he an outsider. But the street will make excuses for this rat ass nigga. Because he from there. I'm not, I'm not coming. I, I, I can't come. You know what? I am coming in defense of 21 Savage. Cause I, I don't like, I don't like when niggas, I hate when niggas do that. I ain't saying this. I'm not saying, I don't got an opinion either way. I hate when the media niggas do that because it's so safe. And that's why you niggas, that's why nobody fuck with y'all niggas. Like when you go to these niggas Instagram and shit like that, that's why these niggas have to buy their followers and buy their likes and buy their comments. Because you don't have an opinion either way. All you do is post the story. You don't give your opinion on it. All we are looking at you for is posting the story. Niggas don't even look at you like you're a real person. Most of the time, niggas don't even know what the fuck you look like. I'm not, that's not what I am. I'm, I'm telling you what it is. If I got to choose sides on this one, I'm going to side with 21 Savage. I'm going to side with 21 Savage. Because at the end of the day... Nobody, dog, it don't matter who, you, niggas came out against Gucci, niggas came out against Gotti. It ain't no nigga rough and tough enough. Jeezy, uh, Ross, but Ross, that's some other shit. Boosie, it don't matter who the fuck you are, how rough and tough you think you is, dog, a nigga from your city is gonna come out and say something about you. Man, nigga ain't heard nothing about 21 Savage. Niggas would have, the media would have been ran with a story about, man, niggas from goddamn East Atlanta saying 21 Savage is from Europe. I never heard that until the motherfucking law came and said that. That mean that 21 Savage really did all that shit that he say he did. He really got shot, and I, I'm trying to, see, but if you're not, see, that's the whole thing. This way it get crazy. And I'm going to tell you why I put this on a rap trap later. But if you're not from this, then what you believe is the nigga that's from the street is the only nigga who is qualified to say whatever, whatever, or you think he's the only one that can do gangster shit. You don't know that it could be a nigga from the military and come to the street and be the nigga that everybody's scared of, but he just off in the cut chilling. This nigga has been to the military, can't got discharged and shit like that, but that's the nigga that nobody fucks with. But you would think, you look at a nigga paperwork, you would think the nigga from the military, that's the soft nigga. He not street at all. You would think the nigga that got on them charges, oh, that's the one, oh, yeah, he, oh, he, he qualified. Know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, dog. it's been, it's been children, the children of police officers, mayors, sheriffs, man, them motherfuckers be doing so much because it just, that they got such a, you know what I'm saying? Like, they feel like they above the law. It's, you never know how, that's why they say the preacher's daughter is always the freakiest. But if you don't know nothing, you wouldn't know nothing. The reason why I was so blown when motherfuckers said this shit about 21 Savage and they hit me from left field is because there's no way he could have faked that shit. I listened to him. I would have keyed in on that nigga from, yeah, he from somewhere else. He not from there. Something would have tipped me off, like, no, but I, that, he's re, that he's really that nigga. He's really that. But he what he did hide was how intelligent he was. And I'm, I'm going to say this. I was, see, that, this internet shit throw shit off because when he got into it, when that, that nigga, uh, Funny Mike, 22 Savage, it's like, I it seemed like, you know what I'm saying, he wasn't handling it. How I, I felt like, you know what I'm saying, he should be in that he come off so retarded. You know what I'm saying? He came off like an average retarded ass, you know what I'm saying, street nigga from there. No future, no nothing. But he held that shit on some, it was kind of mature how he held it. So like this nigga might, you know what I'm saying? But but in the street, a nigga with a mind, a nigga with intelligence, we look at that as soft. We equate stupidity with with a rough and intelligence with soft. You know what I'm saying? The most stupid a nigga is, the most scared everybody is. The smarter nigga is, the further you can fuck him over. You know what I'm saying? It's just what it is. So when he handled that shit kind of conservative, like, 
You're like, oh, what the fuck? So I kind of took that shit as him being soft. But it, it's the internet, and you really not supposed to... You can tell that he was uncomfortable having to respond to that 22 Savage shit because you not supposed to handle shit like this online. But I could tell this nigga was... He is really a robber. I did not... Not from nothing else, but I, I seen the Vlad interview. I could just tell, like, this is the nigga who takes some. He takes some, and niggas know he takes shit. I know niggas want to kill this nigga. I can tell this nigga's like, you know what I'm saying? He's only safe in certain pockets. I know niggas want to murder this nigga. I can tell how he moves. I can tell how he talk. So when this when this whole shit, he from the UK shit, dropped me like, damn, that, that's crazy. Because the first time I'm thinking is, all right, so he was born there, but he from Atlanta. You can't fake that. You can't fake. If he was fake, now it's college niggas who try to, when I say college niggas, I'm trying, it's prepping niggas who've been pretty much prepping and played football all their life, and they went to college, and now they throw parties, and they be trying to talk with the Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, and stick, whatever like that, and it doesn't work because it's like, nigga, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, to talk like that, like, it's, it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's really, he was not forcing it. It's how he was talking. It's really what it is. And you can tell that shit when you can tell that shit. So it like, I right, maybe he was born over there, but just you know what I'm saying, he was raised over here. But they find he was 13, 15, like what the fuck? And then when he come out and say his, his daddy is a fucking doctor, that was that was thrown off too, but it's like I still don't see like you still can't it's niggas in the street. And that's and that's what we talking about. Like this is all your street shit washed away because of who your parents is. And because where you from, and that's what I'm telling you, because you murder a nigga does not mean that you no fucking killer. I'm, I'm trying to, and, and it's the same shit I was saying about the nigga, the baby. Same shit I was saying, because you punch a nigga, dog, the reason why you doing this shit, How can I explain this shit, man? Like, you not gonna get no points from a nigga if a nigga know you trying to get points for it. You're not doing it because that's how you is. You're doing it because you're trying to advance in the rap game. And at, for some, at some extent, that shit worked. You got on Vlad. You know what I'm saying? But as far as winning over niggas who are really out this motherfucker and really, you know what I'm saying? Like, no. And I'm gonna speak that. I can't help that the internet culture don't know what the fuck going on. Yeah, he's a fucking... He, what the fuck you talking about, man? You're a fucking hater. He fucking swung on that dude, bro. What the fuck do you mean, bro? He got a body. He got a body. Where you from? This nigga that didn't murder niggas in prison right now getting fucked in the ass every night. Kool-Aid on his lips. Got another nigga arm around him every night. The fuck is you talking? But I, like I said, I, I, the fuck? Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Let, let's, let's, because I don't know how much time I got on the camera. Let's get down to the fact of how this is the rap trap. Okay. I saw a dude named Justin Blue. If you on Instagram, he's the dude who do like 60 seconds ain't enough. Like he do the Insta Instagram clips about like black power shit. And um, the nigga said, why wasn't 21 Savage deported by ICE for his um, unrenewed visa when he was getting in trouble at school, when he got arrested for dope, when he got arrested for guns, for the shooting, and all these other bullshit. Why in the fuck is 21 Savage being deported the moment he starts, like, a week after he was speaking out against some fucking... He was speaking about something good for black people or something about how racist something was. Or like, it, it was something... And he was putting his money into shit, whatever like that. Like, uh, you know, 20, 21 Savage, um, his homeboy died and he paid for... Uh, his daughter's cancer treatment she stage four and shit like that. Like, nigga stop wearing chains. So it's like, okay, maybe this nigga is a plant in the right way. So he had a mind the whole time, but he knew 
that if he would have came out and the, the whole thing is like, nigga, why you lie? Because it was a lie. Like you didn't come from shit. You came from something. So you didn't you know what I'm saying? You ain't you ain't come from no dope hole. You came from a good place. And well, I'm talking about your parents. And you didn't come from, you know what I'm saying? Why haven't you been saying nigga from the Caribbean? You, know, you you didn't say nothing about that. Only thing you ever said was Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta. So you lied, but it's like, hold on. If this nigga, the only way he can get in is say, I'm retarded, I'm retarded, I'm retarded. And that shit got him to the top to where now he got money to where he can help certain situations in our community. I got to ride with that. I can't go against that. I cannot go against that because what am I talking about on the rap trap? You can't come out any other way. You're not going to get nowhere any other way. You can't come out and rap and say, I want to help the black community. It's over with. Because we're not going to fuck with it. If you say you want to help the black community, the black community not going to fuck with it. But if you say you want to destroy the black community in any way you can, everybody will buy it. In every community. Just as soon as you start doing positive music or have a positive message, shut the fuck down. And, and when you say you have a positive message for the black community, because if a, a pop star want to do, you no know saying, something positive, it's all love. But for us, no. No, nobody buys it. And he, I, he, I, he was intelligent enough to read the game. I, right, if I want to get in here, I'm going to have to act like this. I'm going to have to do it like this. What if the nigga was an activist at first and he said, shit, I can just rap to get money to fund my motherfucking uh, foundation. Motherfuckers don't got talent no way. So if he robbed the game in that way, I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with that. Open your eyes. Look how easy it was to do it. I'm from the UK. I come from a great family. But I was still in the street. You know what I'm saying? And all it took was for me to speak about that shit, and it's all love. You find out later on that I'm from the UK, and uh, you know I got you know what I'm saying a, a millionaire dad and shit like that. But what you bought into was this right here, and you saw I showed you. I didn't tell you. I showed you the evolution of a black man. I came in, you know what I'm saying, retarded. It's a knife and shit like that. But then I say, I ain't wearing jewelry no more. Then I, I want to buy a TV station. Then I give money to foundations. Dog, a lot, dog, real talk, we may have some allies behind enemy lines. Dog, but if they know if they say that they're our allies, everything will stop. I was telling Big C last night. Lil Wayne is going through some with the IRS. That's their ace in a hole. What they want to do is keep something, <clears throat> keep something over your head to where if you act wrong, they can snatch your whole shit. And IRS is their number one thing. Just look at it. Just look at it. They always keep something over our head to where just as soon as they want to, they can kill us. They keep that big joker. Usually it is the IRS because... Future making money crazy right now. Making money crazy. And when you come in the game, you, know, you learning shit. You learning shit. You seeing the game. You seeing it. But then you, you know this folk shit, but you still making money. You know what I'm saying? You know, meat meal type shit. But as soon as you want to start changing and they see you start changing, IRS, tax evasion, child pornography, anything. They can hit you. Uh, a, a girl came out and said you raped her in Paris. Because they know the longer you stay here, the more bullshit you're going to see. Now you might want to start trying to change the world with your money. Oh, no. Your money locked up, dog. You owe us all the money you got. To so where now you can't really fight for no foundation because you got to try to get your money on a world tour. They keep you fucking running. So it's, it's just like an amusement park. Like you had the fucking pen zoo. You can see all this shit, but you can't touch or alter any of it. That's how they want it to continue to stay. They'll bring these stupid motherfuckers in because they know stupid motherfucker and 21 Savage may be the motherfucker who just got through. A stupid motherfucker 
he may see how fucked up this game is, but by the time he figures I need to do something about it, we'll have his ass because they don't enforce the 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 tax evasion shit until they fucking want to. They didn't enforce this uh uh pass due visa until they wanted to. They can ban you at any time. This nigga visa been uh, uh, overdue, past due for how fucking long? They just now hit him? This nigga ain't been in no fucking trouble. But as soon as he try to do something good, let's get this nigga the fuck out of here. We never, we don't do it when we're supposed to do it. As soon as you get in the game, you supposed to let it be known. Let it be known. It's motherfuckers back here trying to destroy us. I been said that Wayne and T.I. will come out and say, nigga, with the Dave Chappelle shit, Kanye West shit, nigga, they back here trying to kill us. If Go listen. I want y'all to go listen to what happened to the passengers. It's a 9-11 conspiracy. Um, it's a 9-11 theory, but they actually play phone calls that happened to, on the 9-11 passengers. Listen to that shit, man. Listen to it. Nobody, and I, I I don't have enough time to explain that shit, but let me try. They feel like, I feel like, that plane that hit the Twin Towers was not the same fucking plane for a whole bunch of reasons. I can't get into them. It was a different fucking plane. So then you have to answer the question, what happened to the original plane? The original plane went up, and while they were in the sky, another plane that looked just like theirs got on side them. That plane lands, the fake plane keeps going. What happened, but you have to answer the question, what happened to the passengers on the real plane? I feel like, of course, they were disposed of, and this is scary as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Go watch the video. It's real shit. Go watch the video. What happened to the passengers? Um... First off, they said that the passengers made calls when the plane was too high for towers to even pick it up. So that was a fucking lie. You know what I'm saying? So these calls that you're going to hear weren't made from 30,000 feet because you can't call anybody from 30,000 30, feet on your cell phone. Have you ever been on a plane and tried to use your phone when you're that high up? It doesn't work. And this was back in 2001. So, you listen to the phone calls, and it just sounds like they were given a script, like, say this, it's going to be fine. So, they say what they were told to say and shit like that, yada, yada, yada. One black lady, had to be a black lady, she got on that motherfucker, said what they told her to say, but right before she looked to make sure they were gone, it's a fake. You know what I'm saying? It's a fake. That shit was so fucking scary to hear that shit. She said it. It's a fake. Y'all, that shit scared me so fucking bad, dog. But if we just had one person to do that, dog, you know what I'm saying? It's a trap. They trying to kill us. A big voice that matters. Punk Daddy. Wayne. They trying to destroy us. Let it be known. Because it's hard to wake these motherfuckers up. You know it's hard to wake them up. Help. Help. So, no, nah, I'm not riding on that nigga on no uh, nigga here, yeah, fake gangster and shit like that. The nigga that did the dirt already. Because by y'all niggas' qualifications or what a street nigga is, you don't give no qualifications. You don't say how many niggas you have to rob in order to be a street nigga, how much weed you got to sell, how much coke, how many pills, how many holes you have to fuck, and how many interrogations you have to get through before you're considered and stamped a real validated street nigga. So anybody in the street can be a street nigga. You know what I'm saying? So why the fuck is he not a street nigga? He done, he done like most of a lot of you niggas. There are a lot of you niggas. That's talking about, oh, man, you yeah, know what I'm saying? So, no, nah, I'm not riding with that shit, man. That nigga did shit to help us right now, and that's what the fuck we need. I feel like this situation has brought light upon this whole fucking bullshit that's going on, and I applaud it, and I salute this shit, man. So, check into that shit. Do your research. 
and get back with me. Rap Trap, I'm El Conseco. What the fuck is this shit at? Make sure you hit the PayPal and make sure you go to me and 2 movementchangeorg I'm going to see y'all in a minute. Love.